Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another token review. Before we head into this token review, please remember to hit that like, hit the subscribe and hit that post notification so you stay up to date with the latest token reviews on my channel. And with that all set, let's head straight into this one. So today we are actually going to have a quick quick update about Vault Inu uh, and basically what is happening in these bleeding times of crypto. So this video is going to be mainly very, very short uh, as there's not a lot to talk about, but we're going to go over some points, uh, some very strong points and why Vault Inu is actually holding up with this bleeding market. So as you guys might know or might not know, uh, basically Bitcoin, Ethereum, basically the whole market is bleeding right now. We're actually heading or some people say we're heading towards a bear market these days are very critical for the future if we're heading towards a bear market or we're still in the bull run so we're only time can tell us uh, and basically um, if you are invested into any crypto or like uh, me like in bitcoin and ethereum and all those main coins as well then you just gotta stay strong don't look to your wallet too much and don't do anything i wouldn't do as well don't panic sell you can panic buy which be which will be smart obviously uh in my opinion which i did as well but do never panic sell because you're gonna regret it when those numbers go up and they go up hard sometimes all right so first things first we're gonna look at their charge and we're not gonna look at one charge we're obviously gonna look at both of them as they are on the ethereum chain but also on the bsc chain so first things first we have the ethereum chain open and as you can see they are not doing that bad if you actually check all the other uh, projects or all the other cryptos, you can see that they are massively down because everything goes down when the main coins goes down. They are actually holding very, very strong. And now I want to look at the BC charge, which is actually not doing that well as the Ethereum one. What I'm thinking what this could be is basically if you look at this chart, right, you have the BSC and obviously you have gas fees in there but it is way easier and way quicker to panic sell on the bc side than on the ethereum side what that means basically is on the ethereum side you have massive and massive gas fees as you might know uh, when you pay with ethereum and you pay on an ethereum chain you have those massive gas fees and people just don't want to deal with that so I see a stronger side on the Ethereum. So this is actually beneficial for those on that side than on the BSC, on the Binance side. Because Binance, BNB uh, in general, like the BNB coin is down so much. Like uh, you don't know how much I am down on BNB right now. But eventually I am praying that everything will be all right. And I know that it will be all right. Have a strong mindset if you're into crypto. Uh, but basically uh, on the BNB side, it's not looking that good. On the Ethereum side... Um, not as good as well but it looks way better so those gas fees actually make people scared like oh sh should i actually sell well not really that much is selling so i might hold off it is not worth to sell because you are up against those gas fees you do not want to sell your stuff so that is something that is actually beneficial for the ethereum side and now let's move on all right, so now we are on their Twitter. Uh, and as you guys just saw, uh, they are holding themselves very, very high up in these in these bleeding times, in these times of like losses. Um, and basically, they're doing very well, even on the sex listeners as well. Very successful. Um, and now we're going to basically just scroll to their Twitter, see if there's anything new. There's some other guys that have been making videos. They are collabing with a lot of different co coins and NFTs. They're working together with people which I like. So basically, this uh, this guy Pancake Gems uh, talked about it. Volt held up well during the crash, and it's currently at a strong support, which we just saw. It is actually on a strong support. The team keeps delivering, and just got sex listeners this week on BKX Global and Elbeck Exchange. So that is basically two major sex listeners, uh, and you don't want to miss out. There's so much more coming, and once so the, the the whole market recovers, I see this token going very very heart so with more sex listeners and utilities coming volt inu officials prime to bounce hard soon as i just said so basically um a lot of people believe in this uh and i think it will be very very nice for the future of volt inu if they actually keep delivering everything that they have to offer for the team uh, and they keep listening to their community then this token is gonna see the moon very very soon but basically that was just a short short uh update video about volt inu uh and basically uh, I might 
be back next week uh, with some more information about uh, some more updates coming. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoy these videos. So leave a like, hit the subscribe, hit the post notifications if you want to see more of Vault Inu or if you want to see more of some hidden gems on my channel. So with that all said, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you all next time. Peace, guys. Light up, dancing in the moonlight. Dancing in the moonlight. Oh, dancing in the moonlight.